Okay, we are good to go. Oh, I hear an echo. All right, good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's mayor manager meeting for Wednesday, August 17th. Uh, online with me is City Clerk Stephanie Carlisle, Mayor Pro Tem Stephen Ward, uh, Assistant City Manager Tim Dodd, uh, City Attorney Tamara Niles, City Manager Sean Lewis, and Deputy City Clerk Sarah Harkness. Uh, Sean, I'll let you kick us off. All right, thank you. <clears throat> we'll start with the July um, monthly financial report on August 22nd. We'll also have phase one of, uh, excuse me, phase two um, of city charter, but uh, review project. Mm -hmm. uh, code next update and a presentation on potential uses for opioid settlement funds. All right, so do we have, no. we need to add discussion times, looks like to all these. Financial report. Five minutes. Okay, and then charter review. And, and Tamara, that's correct that it's a 30 minute presentation. Uh, yes, it, it may be slightly shorter. Uh, I haven't gotten the PowerPoint from them yet, but um, I should receive it anytime so I can route the item. But um, they're planning to go through um, two sections of the charter or an introduction and, and one section this first presentation. Gotcha. Thoughts on that one, Mayor Mayor Rook, Tim? <clears throat> well, I'm just reading the note that <clears throat> we're going to be starting off with this item. Is that correct? I, I would like to because yeah. we're paying outside counsel. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, I have no idea, to be honest with you. I'm not sure if this is going to be 30 minute discussion or more 15, 20 minutes since it's the initial presentation, but Mayor Pertem, any any thoughts? If we can keep the presentation shorter, that allows more time for discussion. Um, I'm not sure how contentious these items are going to be, but I would like to do this project overall as thoroughly as possible. And I can direct outside counsel to make their presentation any amount of time that you'd like. So if, mm -hmm. 15 minutes. Yeah, I would prefer a 15 minute presentation and then just a lot of discussion. 30 okay. minute discussion potentially. All right, code next. I'm trying to think of how the, the previous ones have gone. What, about 15, 20 minute discussion, Mayor Puto? I'd say at least 20 minutes. Um, I think we're starting to get into some meat on this portion. Yeah, yeah I was going to ask where we are on this, but if the timeline is to be believe that we're going to be finalizing this by the end of the year, I'm guessing that we're going to start having longer discussions. Right. Okay, Let, let's keep it at 20 minutes discussion, but I can see it going longer. And opioids. Uh, yeah, this one again, at least 20, possibly even 30 minutes. Um, I attended the statewide conference Monday and Tuesday. Uh, there are a lot of things that we can do with this money, um, but some of them are going to be philosophical discussions like uh, treatment and recovery, um, and we need to decide how we want to work on that. Okay. All right, so, so we got that one. What, what did we agree on, 20 minutes or 30 minutes, Steve? Uh, I think 20. It could go longer, but 20 is probably a good start. Okay. All right. So that being said, we should have plenty of time for this because it's a study session. So yeah, I was gonna say we're still under three hours with the yeah, building. definitely. Okay. Well, that would be nice if we kept it to that. <laughs> All right, September sixth, a um, couple of study sessions, the administrative study for charges to enterprise funds. And then the Inglewood workforce update. Let's see, I actually have some of that filled in. Next, we have a resolution um, authorizing revisions to the vesting period of 401A. Um, resolution adopting investment policy. Gov EV presentation regarding sustainability. 
uh, Workforce Development Proclamation, National Hispanic Heritage Month Proclamation. Um, sorry, approving contract with Bridge House contingent on appropriation, which occurred. And then court prosecution staff handing um, documents to defendants. It's a second reading on that. Mm -hmm. um, ending EMC Title IV or um, investment policy. Second reading of the IGA with Centennial for traffic signals. Second reading of the ordinance amending the off leash. And amending angle of first reading, amending municipal code regarding state law eliminating alcohol license manager registration. On first reading, accepting a grant from Rapho County Open Space for Bates Logan Park improvements. This was Dave Lee's final final money into us, five hundred thousand dollars, and in his last week we got. Um, next, we have um, ordinance amending municipal code regarding quarterly billing for billing cycle. And first reading for um, traffic procedures, some definitions on that. Um, first reading of animal impoundment code change. And that's it. A lot of items, but a lot of them were second reading. OK. Can we go up and just do consent on these? I think everything that second reading was. Uh, follow that could go on to consent just because it did. If we were unanimous on that. OK. Yeah, anything that was uh, unanimous, I can put on consent. We need a discussion time for the workforce update. What, 15 minutes? <clears throat> Without much detail, I think 15 minutes sounds about right. Okay. Still keeps us under an hour for study sessions. Yeah, that should be fine. All right. So, the vesting period, uh, do you want that on consent? I would say the top two, yes. There was no. Oh, yeah, we do. Hear, Yeah, okay. Okay. And then, have a no for the. OED. Yeah, oh, acclamation. Sorry. Um, okay. So I'm British Bridge House, I would say no on the consent. Okay. Sorry, Pretend, do you agree? Didn't we pass the funding yet. unanimously? We did. <sighs> yes, we did. So if we agreed to fund it, why would we not agree to the IGA? We could put it on there. I just have a feeling that it's going to get pulled. But yeah, let's let's put it on consent. But I just have a feeling. And then OK, so second readings I'll take care of. We have these first readings. <clears throat> this one is just a cleanup of code for alcohol manager registrations. <clears throat> I'd put that on consent. I don't think there's anything juicy there. Um, yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay. I'm sorry for this. Um, um, for this Council Bill 47, are we, can we, is that consent or no? I would say yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, sorry, I, I struggle with interrupting people on this call in particular. Maybe I'll start raising my hand. Um, I, uh, City Council did uh, adopt a resolution approving the grant application, so it does appear this would be appropriate for consent unless uh, you would just prefer to discuss it. The one reason why I would leave this off consent is uh, what the manager mentioned earlier, this being Dave Lee's final grant to the city. Uh, it might be nice to have some discussion. Yeah. And I should mention, you know, he's already retired, so he won't be there. Okay. I'd say I would like to put it on consent. Okay. 
I may still say something about it, but yes. Um, where are we at now? Are we just below that one? The billing cycles? Right. Oh, sorry. The billing cycles is a yes. It, we have down yes, but do you want to confirm that? What do you think about that, Steve? Uh, could go either way. Yeah. I don't. I don't have any problem with it. I don't either. Uh, let's put it on see. consent, Stephanie. Yeah, let's leave it on there. Okay. All right, and then the last one. Um, well, maybe not the last one. Yeah, there's a lot of them. I see no issue having that on consent. We have this one marked for consent as well. Yeah, I'm fine with that. OK, <clears throat> all right, we're to the 12th now. Uh, OK, go ahead, Sean, are you on mute? Our, excuse me. Um, September 12th, we have historic preservation study by opinion environmental housing assessment update. Um, city center update, excuse me, economic impact report. And that's all we have on that agenda right now. Is SKB on, doing that presentation? Or are they part of that presentation? Do we know? Uh, no, this would be, I mean, I, I'm sure they'll be part of it and the contractor may be a sub of SKB. I'm not sure, but it's okay. called Harland uh, or Harlan. They do economic impact analysis for projects. Okay, no, that sounds good. <clears throat> and then moving on to September 19th, we have the Youth Advisory Board um, discussion, uh, study session on innovative housing concepts. This is just a um, annual update that we've asked for from them. Uh, then we have a resolution. Oh, no, nope, that's a test. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. Uh, we have a public hearing on the proposed bu uh, budget. And then first reading of the uh, EMC regarding solicitation from vehicle sidewalks obstructions. And that's it. Any okay. questions on those? Uh, no questions, but FYI, Steve, I may not be at that night at the meeting on the 19th. So I'll find out soon whether or not I will be. Got it. Just shoot me a text the week before so I don't text you and tell you. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Um, OK, no issues there. All right. September 26th, budget workshop in case we need it. Um, and then um, the monthly financial report for August. Presentation um, of phase two charter review. And then uh, October 3rd, any questions on the 26th? Yeah. On October 3rd, we'll go over the strategic plan performance dashboard. Also have Indigenous Peoples Day proclamation, code enforcement month proclamation, and first reading of the budget. On October 10th, any questions there? Nope, October 10th, we have draft economic development strategic plan. October 16th, <clears throat> um, repealing the TV customer standards, replacing them by, with the franchise agreement. And then October 16th, Comcast cable TV franchise agreement. October 17th. Well, this is interesting. How can we have those two meetings back to back? Yeah, I suspect that just got that date just got put in wrong. So we'll change that to the October. Um, oh, 16th. everything should be the 17th. Oh, so the 17th as well. The, oh. Yeah, the 17th is correct. And these were all put in. Um, accidentally on the on the 16th so we'll change okay. those no worries on the 24th of 
uh, October, we have the financial report and presentation number three on charter review. And then November 7th, some more code next. IGA with Aurora annual, uh, Aurora South Metro SBDC annual contract code next update and uh, code next mobility access realm design provision. So this is where in November is when we you start, you know, looking at actual code amendments, I believe, October and November. Small Business Saturday, November 28th, monthly financial report, and I think that's about it. Okay. <clears throat> we probably need to start scheduling like a council dinner in December and when we're doing the board and commission interviews. I think that's in December. But anyway, um, oh, I, I have no questions on. No questions on any of this. Well, it's on my mind. Scheduling that dinner also reminds me that um, I, I, when I was meeting with council members individually, people tended to like the idea of having um, a dinner before a council meeting with our state delegation, our two state reps and our state senator. Um, and so, Tim, if you can just put that maybe on for January or December, either one. Just a placeholder so we can plug that in. Sure, yeah, I talked to Krista about doing it in January, just before the beginning of the legislative session. Okay, great. Cool. All right, nothing, nothing from me. Do we want to go into council requests? Sure. So I had um, Sierra, some residents have expressed frustration trying to use muni revs in the IMS system for permits and licensing. Could staff consider how to guides that accompany the start pages of those systems to help guide users? Does staff have other ideas on how to train users on the system? Woodward, why was a resident charged $25 for a paper submittal on National Night Out? Do we have other charges for paper license, paper slash licenses? Um, Actually, Woodward had another one too regarding yes. uh, Hampton Avenue. Yes, Maria that actually clarified that one for me. Okay. And we don't have that entered yet, but I'll get that right now. Okay, cool. Yeah, let me know if you need detail on it. But yeah, actually, do you mind um, just letting me? So the way that I understood it was just the fact, you know, how how can we Greater cargo currently are, are taking up Hampton Avenue, so they're stopping traffic. So how can we, not necessarily mandate, but how can we allow, how can we make it easier for those freight trucks to pick up within something other than Hampton Avenue? Yeah, yeah, and I guess that's probably why I was confused. And that's a, that's what Maria clarified that he was saying. The, the thing with that is that, the, um, and I can talk to him about this. I think this would be a great topic for you and Chelsea and I to to discuss with Craig and Swedish when we meet with them. Um, of course, Chelsea being in that because they're in those hospitals are in her district, you because you're the mayor. But um, I'm not sure what a council request would do other than say we can ask them. <laughs> well, we could bring it up with uh, Ryan on. I think we're meeting like on the 23rd or 24th of this month, somewhere on there. Right, and I think we've got Craig at sometime around the same time. So, okay. right. but yeah, I'll talk to I'll talk to um, Jim about that, and we might go ahead and enter this. But I think the answer will simply be we'll ask, and when we meet with them. Okay. All right. Anything else? Nothing for me. Anything else from you, Mayor Pro Tem? Nope. Anything else from staff? Not I. Uh, nothing for me. All right, everyone. Uh, it is now 8.50. Everyone have a great day. You, you too. too. Bye-bye.